Hey everyone, it is Carolise and this video I'm going to be talking about how to become a business analyst. So I have already done a video called how to break into business analysis and it's a two part series that gives you a long list of options of how you can become a business analyst even if you have no prior experience. So I highly recommend that you go and watch that video as well as this one because that will give you a comprehensive list of actions that you can take to get into this field even with no experience before. Now from that video I got a lot of questions about how to actually get into the field. I got a lot of good positive responses, but I found that there was a few questions that were common among most people who sent me, you know, emails and messages on my Facebook. So of all the people who sent me responses, I found that there were common questions among them. And one of the number one question was, Hey, I am trying to get a job as a business analyst, but I keep seeing that they want two years of experience, five years of experience, and I don't have the experience. So what am I gonna do? How can I get a job I don't have the experience? Let me tell you this. Sometimes you have to ignore the, re the experience requirement for the job. Just apply. Just send in your application. Do not let the years of experience deter you from applying. Apply anyway. Even when you don't have the experience, apply anyway. Send out those resumes, send them out. Even when they say you need two years of experience and you have zero, still apply. Because sometimes if you can get into the interview, you can explain your way. And sometimes they're willing to take a chance on you based on your attitude, based on your enthusiasm for the career, based on other things. So don't exclude yourself because you don't meet the experience requirement. Also, they may ask you to have experience in certain software tools. And you have no experience with these software tools doesn't matter you can learn you can learn these things so don't beat yourself up don't feel like you don't qualify because you don't meet every single thing they have on their list sometimes they don't even know what they want so apply apply anyway get your foot to the door and see what happens okay that's the first thing for getting a job even when you have no experience the second thing is something that I talked about in that video about breaking into business analysis where I said you have to review your resume and make your resume match with what's in the job description. So you want to review what you have on your resume and make sure that it is aligning with what is on the job description. That might mean that you'll have to go make a resume for each job you apply for. Maybe that's just the extra work you have to do to get the job. So you have to make sure you're using the right words, the right terms. You're expressing yourself to match what they're looking for. So even if you've not worked in business analysis, you've worked in something else and try and make the work that you've done there be explained in such a way that it matches. You want to make sure that everything you put on your resume uses the lingo and uses the terms that is familiar to people looking for a business analyst. So words like, process improvement, analysis, design, elicitation, workshops, interviews, um, uh, requirements. Use the words that the interviewers can recognize and understand that this means something to them. The other question I got that was very important also was whether or not you need to be certified to get a job as a business analyst. So to get your first business analyst job, you do not need the ECBA or any other certification. Now, is it good to have the certification? Yes. Is it going to help you if you have the certification? Yes. Do you need the certification to get your first job? No, I can pull up Indeed or Monster or any of these other places where they have a lot of jobs being advertised, even LinkedIn. And you will see very few employers are asking for the business analyst certifications. So it doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. It just means that you don't need it to get your foot in the door. So don't feel like you have to 
go do all of these certifications in order for you to even get through in an interview. If you have, you know, just done some online courses or just exposed yourself, go buy the Babak and read all about what it is to be a business analyst, to understand the techniques that we use. And I think that can help you to speak to the career and speak to the job that you're applying for. And you don't really have to have the certification that you think you need. So it's good to have, yes, but don't let not having the certification stop you. Go out there and please apply, even if you don't have the certification. There's another thing I wanted to throw out there for you. So you don't have any experience and you wanna get this job. There are some things that you can do in the meantime to keep yourself abreast of the field and what's going on. If you know anything at all about business analysis, because it could be that you just haven't had a title called business analysis, but you've been writing documents, you've been helping in the process, you may have worked with you know, on a small project at one point. So you have some kind of knowledge that you can offer. What I would suggest is that you could go on these freelance sites, such as Upwork or even Fiverr, and you can offer certain services for business analysis, and that would give you very small projects that you can work on and deliver and that will keep you in the loop in the world of the business analyst and you can use those as your experience as well. So if you go to Fiverr and you search business analysis, you see a number of people offering business analysis um, services. If you go to Upwork and you type in business analyst, you see a number of business analysts and their rates and their services. And sometimes all you're doing is helping with the requirements, solicitation, doing some documentation. You may not be in the full um, software development life cycle, you may just be doing a small piece that's like a freelance uh, extra work that they need to get done. So you don't have to do the whole thing, but it keeps you in the world, it keeps you in the mindset, it keeps giving you different projects to work on, and you can earn some money as well, of course, but really it does give you something to put on your resume as projects that you've been working on to show the, the prospective employer that you're so interested in this field that you keep doing freelance work to keep yourself you know, a part of this industry and a part of this career. So those are my tips <laughs> on how to become a business analyst. Again, please go watch the video on how to break into business analysis. And I hope this was useful for you. Please subscribe. It's very easy, people. Just click the subscribe button. That's it. And the bell. And also check out my website, carolise.com. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and look for my group called Real World Business Analysis and IT. That's on Facebook. So again, hope this was helpful. I wish you all the best. Go out there and find your job in this career. And I'll be here to help you and guide you through it. Thanks.